doubles and coffee. Pray for the members of the Integrity Commission. Pray for the investigators of the Integrity Commission. Pray for the members of the board of the Integrity Commission and the staff. Because Keith Christopher Rowley is on the attack. Keith Christopher Rowley gets up on a platform and informs the nation Apasa with annoyance and vexation that he's the subject of an investigation by the Integrity Commission and he tries to pour scorn on the investigation before it's completed. It's about the Inez Gate property that Rowley purchased from Alan Warner, a construction contractor in receipt of contracts from the government of Trinidad and Tobago. A former business part partner and associate of Keith Christopher Rowley and Rowley admitted openly and in Parliament, his friend. Rowley tries to shout and talk about the law, and I know the law, and I must be the only stupid fool. Whatever price I play, I pay for the for the Heinis Gate property. He also said before, when this came up, that he negotiated a price because he's a great negotiator. Well, don't believe Rowley's nonsense. The issue with the Ainis Gate property is, as Rowley admitted, as Prime Minister of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago, he is a person in public life and is subject to the Integrity in Public Life Act. And therefore, Rowley, when he claimed to have negotiated a discount, because the law states and the facts presented show that Keith Christopher Rowley won, paid 33,600 stamp duty for the property, which equates to a value of $1.68 million. Rowley admitted and put on his Integrity in Public Life Act Form A, nothing on Form B, which in itself is an issue, but on Form A, that he paid $1.2 million and he also put that the value was 1.2 million, which is not true, and that's false. I'll deal with that part after. However, all information, including other people who purchased the properties at exactly the same time or thereabouts as Keith Christopher Rowley, including Speaker of the House and her husband, Newman George Rowley's friends, Alvin Hilaire, the Central Bank Governor, Ingrid Ashley, Lashley, PNM super board member on nine different boards, Gilbert Peterson of Rowley's friend and senior counsel and bunkering contract, all of them paid between 1.68 and 1.81 for the exact same townhouse apartments in Inez Gate. So therefore, Rowley paid 1.2 million which is 468000 to 610000 dollars less than the going price at the same time. Rowley admitted that he's a great negotiator. But listen to the problem. Because Rowley said, when you know the law, you protect the law. Let me read the law for you. The Integrity in Public Life Act states at section 27.1, a person to whom this part applies shall not, not may not, shall not accept a fee, gift, or personal benefit except compensation authorized by law. So and accept your perks, your salary, and so on. 27.3 goes on to be even more specific. And that's why Rowley has to know cast explosions and attack the integrity of the integrity commissioners and that's why i call upon you all to pray for them that they will remain strong and are able to just do their duty without fear or favor malice or ill will section 27 3 of the integrity in public life act states where however a gift or personal benefit like a discount on a townhouse of 468000 to 601000 exceeds $2,000, exceeds that. So 468000 well exceeds that. 
Okay, I read in one section that it probably went up to 5,000. So let's say 5,000. 468,000 is above 5,000 or 2,000, which means you must do the following. When it exceeds that amount in value, where the total value received directly or indirectly, meaning when you receive a gift that is actual payment or cash or gold or something, actual direct or indirectly, meaning you're a great negotiator and you get a personal benefit because you negotiated a discount. Here, what the law says you must do when you get it from one source in any 12 month period, this was in 12 months, one townhouse, one purchase. So that's within a 12 month period. A person in public life shall, not may, no discretion, file with his declaration a statement indicating the nature of the fee, gift, or benefit, its source, and the circumstances under it which it was given. Failure to do so, the person in public life is guilty of an offense. Rowley has admitted that he never, he doesn't even consider it a benefit. That's his interpretation, and he could interpret what the hell he wants. But the law is the law, and the law is clear. The law is pellucid. And let me also tell you from Integrity in Public Life Act, Section 21.1b. Let me read that for you. Any person in public life who knowingly makes a declaration that is false is guilty of an offense and the, the, the fine the punishment of that offense is a fine of two hundred and fifty thousand dollars and imprisonment for a term of ten years in the form a that rowley waved before you and the media he said that he paid 1.2 million dollars on that same form as you move across the line it asks you what the value was because you may pay something but what is the value see that's very important because if the value exceeds what you paid for that equates to a personal benefit and must be declared in a detailed statement but rowley put that the value was 1.2 million. Now, if the value was 1.2 million, there is a stamp duty that goes to that effect. However, Rowley paid, good boy, $33,600 on record of stamp duty. And that figure equates through pure mathematics, which is not subjective, to a cost, a value of 1.68 million dollars so therefore rowley knew or ought to have known that the value of the property was not the 1.2 that he had so skillfully negotiated as a prime minister with a contractor who is in receipt of government contracts and therefore once he knew or ought to have known that the value was above what he put on his form when he signed that form, Rowley is guilty of an offense in section 21 1b, knowingly making a declaration that is false, and is guilty of an offense, and the fine is 250000 and imprisonment for a term of 10 years. So that's why Rowley starts to cast aspersions on the Integrity Commission and start to pretend that it's a fake and false, it's a witch hunt. It's not. It's a law. Go and read the law for yourself. Let me also tell you, in Section 26 of the Integrity in Public Life Act, I've taken my time with this, because Rowley's lies and bullying and nasty behavior, vulgar behavior to attack independent institutions when they are fought with doing their duty. He cannot put fear in everyone. People have to stand and do their job. A person to whom this part applies shall not use his office 
to seek to influence a decision made by another person or public body to further his own private interests. Rowley trying to cast aspersions on Farley. Farley cannot be trusted. But Chief Secretary Farley said something in the press conference that out of the 100 million allocated to Tobago, to the THA, to pay, that two senior government cabinet ministers called him and informed him, instructed him, asked him or beseeched him to pay specific amounts of money to a specific contractor. Those two ministers, whoever they are, are in breach of the Integrity in Public Life Act, Section 26, which states, a person to whom this part applies shall not use his office to seek to influence a decision made by another person or public body to further his own private interests. And if you want to go further, the Integrity Commission should, should investigate Rowley on a number of affairs using Section 26. Rowley went to the president on August 11, 2021 to further his own personal private interests by him stating to you, the people, that he had no confidence in Gary Griffith and he did not want him to have the job of commissioner of police. So he went and influenced another public official, the president, who then influenced another public official and person in public life, Bliss Sipasad, to breach the constitution. So Rowley, leave the Integrity Commission alone. They have to do their job. The law is clear, Rowley. And from every iota uttered by you, you are the worst witness against yourself. It's like a confession of an idiot. So don't try to threaten, bully, or throw scorn, odium, or disrepute on the Integrity Commission because citizens can read plain English. And may God bless you. Hey, Rowley, get a bucket, boy. Get a bucket and rest it down in Golden Grove.